Perez and Alfonso Pilot suffered on his burial. And a third day arose from the dead according to the scripture, ascended into the heaven. He said at the right hand of his father, that is coming again, his glory, that is the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord, we have our proceed with the Father, the Son, and worship, and glorify, spoke by the prophet, and the Holy Universe, and apostle of Jesus, we confess one box for the mission of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the coming age. Amen. Mercy on us, O God the Father, the Mantic Lord, the Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, God of hosts, be with us. For we have no help and hardship and tribulation, but you, Lord, forgive and mitigate our transgressions. Those we have committed willingly, those we have committed unwillingly, those we have committed knowingly, and those we have committed unknowingly. Let the enemy first, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of the holy name which is called upon us, they be according to mercy and us according to our sins. Make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, the will be done, earth and heaven. Give us daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive our trespasses against us. And lead us from temptation, but deliver us from evil. And pray to us, O Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Peace and edification to the holy, holy Catholic and Apostolic Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who are brought unto you these gifts, those in whom they have, they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us, O Lord, straighten our way. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Okay. 
We thank you for every condition concerning every condition, every condition. For you have guarded us, served us, guarded us, accepted us, to you spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Therefore, we ask and trace your goodness, O Lord, of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life and all peace with your fear. Holy and all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of the wicked people, and the rising of enemies, uh, manifest take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this holy place that is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For this you have given us the authority to present serpent and scorpion upon all the power. Of the enemy, while I did not so
called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A reading from the epistle of our teacher, Paul, to the Colossians, may his holy blessings be with us all, amen. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it in, with thanksgiving. Meanwhile, praying also for us, that God would open to us a door for the word, to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains, that I, make, that I may make and manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom towards those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer one another. One another, Tychus, a beloved brother, faithful minister, and a fellow servant in the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. With Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, they will make known to you all things which are happening here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you, with Mark the cousin of Barnabas, 
about whom you received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, and these are these are my fellow workers for the kingdom of God who are of circumcision. They have proved to be a comfort to me. Epiphorus, who is one of you, a bond servant of Christ, greets you, always laboring fervently with fervently for you in the prayer, that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him witness that he has a great zeal for you, and those who are in Lacedonia, Lac- Laodicea, and those in Hierapolis, Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea and Nymphas and the church that is in his house. Now when this epistle is read among you, so see that it is also read in the church of the Lacedonians, and that you likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. And say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. This salutation by my own hand, Paul, remember my chains. Grace be to you, amen. The grace of God the Father be with you all, amen. Catholic epistle from the epistle of our teacher St. James, may his holy blessings be, be with us, amen. Do not grumble against one another, brethren, lest you be condemned, behold the judge is standing at the door. My brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example of suffering and patience. Indeed, we count them blessings who endure. You have heard of the perseverance of Job and seen the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brethren, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath. But let your yes be yes and your no be no, lest you fall into judgment. Is anyone among you suffering? Let them pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will... will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has been and if he has committed sin, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The effective fervent of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with was a man with nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not train, and it would not rain on the s- on on land for three years and six months. And he prayed again and the heaven gave rain. And the earth produces its fruit. Brethren, if anyone among you wanders from the truth <coughs> and someone turn, turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world is passing away and its lust. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen. <laughs> From the Acts of Our Fathers, the pure apostles were invested. A reading from the Acts of Our Fathers, the pure apostles were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May their grace, may their blessing be with us all. Amen. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and went to Corinth. 
and he found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had commanded all the Jews to depart from Rome, and he came to them. So because he was of the same trade, he stayed with them and worked for by, for by occupation they were tent makers. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy had come from Macedonia, Paul was compelled by the Spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus is the Christ. But, uh, but when they opposed him and blasphemed, he shook his garments and said to them, Your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. And he departed from there and entered the house of a certain man named Justus, one who worshipped God, whose house was next door to the synagogue. Then Crispus, the ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his household. And many of the Corinthians, the hearing, believed and were baptized. Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak and do not keep silence. For I am with you, and no one will attack you to hurt you. For I have many people in the city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. The word of the Lord shall go and multiply and be mighty and confirm in the Holy Church of God. Amen. Today is the 25th day of the blessed months of our own and may God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my Father, my brethren. Amen. On this day of the year 285 of the martyrs, 569 AD, the holy martyr, the holy father, Pope Peter IV, the 34th patriarch of Alexandria departed his predecessor, Pope Theodosius was exiled by the order of Emperor Justin II and appointed an alien bishop called Apollinarius, but the Coptic people refused him. When Pope Theodosius departed in exile, in exile Apollinarius rejoiced, for he thought <coughs> that he would preside over the Coptic Church. God, the lover of mankind and the Church, arranged it for the ruler of Alexandria to be an honorable and forthright man. He advised the bishops and the lay leaders to go to the monastery of El Zogag as, as they were going to pray there. Then they could consecrate the patriarch of their choice. They rejoiced at this council. They took Abba Peter to the monastery of El Zogag where they consecrated him patriarch on the first day of Mesra, year 285 of the martyrs 567 AD. However, he could not enter the city of Alexandria for the emperor prevented him. The Pope remained moving from monastery to monastery, caring for his flock by pastoral epistles. When the people of Antioch heard that the Egyptians had ordained for themselves a patriarch, they also ordained for themselves a patriarch. They called him Theophanius and were uh, consecrated in Ammonius monastery for the heretics interfered and prevented them. He and Pope Peter exchanged letters concerning the Orthodox faith. When the alien patriarch died, Pope Peter was able to go on a pastoral visit in the entire Nile Valley, confirming the people in the Orthodox faith and confirming them in their hardship. When Pope Peter fulfilled his good endeavor, departed in peace, and after being on the apostolic throne for less than two years, the blessing of his prayer be with us all, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the thing which you see and have not seen them. 
and to hear the thing which you have not heard them. But blessed are your eyes for they see your ears for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Lord, mercy. Remember also our master, those who have been asked to remember them in our supplication prayer, which we offer unto you, Lord our God. Those who are ready for us, deep repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of a soul, salvation of a soul, the hope of a soul, the healings of a soul, and the resurrection of a soul. And in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to a teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Amen. Die Opfer benutzt die Pech und in die Nähe um ihn. Los uns in Kirche. From the Psalms of our teacher David the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. And you see God, your heart shall live, for the Lord hears the poor. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him. With thanksgiving. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God and Savior, and King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the <coughs> living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, Bless those who curse you and pray for those who spitefully use you. To him who strikes you on the one cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from him who takes away your goods, do not ask them back. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. But if you love those who love you, what credit is it that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive back, what credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much back. But love your enemies, do good, and lend hoping for nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the unthankful and to the evil. Therefore be merciful, just as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Glory be to God forever. Good morning, everyone. So I want to start off by asking us all a question. And I hope I get a little bit of participation in it. What do you guys think makes a good husband? Any thoughts? There's no right or wrong answers, just so you know. I know uh, before becoming one, I thought, you know, if, if I uh, change diapers regularly, that makes me a good husband. But... Out of curiosity, 
does anyone remember what the commands are said to the husband during the crowning ceremony? It says, excel in doing all that is good for her. Have compassion on her. Hasten to do that which will gladden her heart. Today you are responsible for her instead of her parents. And I found this very powerful for two reasons. The first is that there weren't really any conditions in it. It wasn't, okay, assuming she's good to you, then you be good to her. Or, oh, if she's compassionate towards you, then you become compassionate towards her. It just flat out says you're responsible for her. All her cares, all her needs, they're yours now. And it doesn't change based on how she's feeling or how you're feeling. The other part that I found very powerful was that this I isn't what the duties are for an exceptional husband. It doesn't say to be a good husband, do this. It just says, now you're a husband, these are your expectations. So basically, this is the base, this is the start of your role as a husband. And so, taking this into account, if I were to ask what makes a good husband, that answer might change a little bit. And why do I mention all of this? In today's gospel, Jesus has a very powerful message to all of us, and it's a call to be a Christian. And I want to be clear, this is not an exceptional person, not what it means to be a saint. It's, this is the base of, to be a Christian, this is what you need to do. To be like Christ, this is what you need to do. And he starts by telling us, but I say to you who hear, and again, that means everyone who is listening to the gospel, us, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. And this is not an easy task. I know for myself it's extremely difficult when I see someone cursing me for me just to turn around and bless them. But this is what it also means to be a Christian. It's not that we can be conditionally loving to others. Oh, they were good to me, so then I can be good to them. Christ literally calls them out and says in the following verses, he says, even sinners do that. We have to be like Christ, who when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son in Romans 5 verse 10. And the beauty of this is when we do follow these words, when we do follow the message of Christ, what is our reward? We get to be the sons of the Most High. And so I want to share with you two stories to really reinforce this message. The first one is about children. What do we always say about children? We say that they're pure of heart. They're innocent, right? They wear their hearts on their sleeves. And it's something I've really noticed with my son. He does this a lot. He loves us unconditionally. A and when I really see it is when he's actually angry at us. You see, sometimes him being a toddler now, he likes to play with anything and everything he sees. So sometimes it's dangerous, so we have to take it away from him. And when we take it away from him, he gets angry. He throws a temper tantrum. He's crying, he's yelling, he's saying, I need it, it's mine. A and despite all this anger and frustration, I might come down to his level and ask him, do you need a hug? And in the midst of his cries and his tears, he'll say yes, and he comes in for a hug. He's still upset. He's still upset that the toy was taken from him or that this dangerous object was taken from him. But he still loves us so much that we are his comfort. We are his joy. We are his happiness so that he's still willing to accept the hug despite I was the one that took away that object. And I'm sure many of you can relate to this when it comes to kids. They can be mad or upset one second and then the very next they just want to play with you, right? They have this pure heart that Christ desires from all of us an outpouring of love towards everyone unconditionally. The other story I want to share was about Pope Krolos, which I really felt encompassed that message of love and what it means to be a Christian. So right now we know Pope Krolos as a saint, but at the time he actually wasn't very liked by many. In fact, there was a group of 12 very prominent priests in Alexandria that did not feel that Pope Krolos was right for his patriarch. And so for about a year and a half, they were publishing these pamphlets and they were just bad mouthing him. They're defaming the Pope. And they're doing this for a very long time and they'd work very late into the hours of 
1.30 in the morning just publishing these things so they can go from Alexandria all the way to Cairo. And so, as their usual custom, they're about to publish these pamphlets. The printing press machine breaks down. So they think nothing of it. They call someone. They come. They fix it. It's brand new. They're like, okay, let's start printing it. As soon as they start again, it breaks down. So again, they call someone, and, and he looks at it. It's like, this is a completely different issue now, and, and we can't even replace this part right now. Like, this machine is decommissioned now. You have to get a brand new one if you want to print again. And so at that point, one of the 12 priests, he thinks this is a sign from God saying, I shouldn't be publishing this pamphlet. So he goes and runs to the Pope. And what do you think the Pope does? Again, if it's me, I'd probably be very upset and be like, see, I told you, you shouldn't have been publishing these things. But instead of that reaction, I it's a very comforting one that he gives them. He actually commends them on all their hard work, says, you know, I know how long you guys have been staying up to 1.30, printing so much to the point where your printer breaks. And keep in mind, they haven't said anything to him. Th they just walked in to apologize. But again, he forgave them and showed them love when he could have done so much more. St. Clement of Alexandria, he says, if you devote yourself to a farmer, you become a farmer. If you devote yourself to Christ, you become like Christ. This is what we need to do when it comes to our behavior. There's a call for us to be like Christ that Jesus says. And again, it, it's, it, it's difficult to show mercy and love despite the hate a person might show you. But we also need to be different than this world. The world that teaches us selfishness to only love ourselves, who at best might say, okay, be fair, an eye for an eye. We need to be different. We need to be better than that. In Matthew 5, verse 48, Christ says, Therefore, you, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Again, it's not an ask. It's a command for us today, just like today's gospel. We have that perfect example of Christ who showed us how to act, and we have the perfect examples of all the saints around us who followed Christ's message and became like Christ. And then finally, in today's gospel, there's another message that J Jesus says. And it's one that we actually say a lot and very frequently. When we pray our Father, we always say, forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us. For with the same measure you that you use, it will be measured back to you. We have to be very careful on how we judge. We sometimes can be very ruthless. We sometimes come from a point where we feel like, oh, if we were in those person's shoes, we would never do this. Or we would never commit this sin. And the problem is, that's not true. Problem is, we are a broken humanity, and we sin, and we constantly sin, and we deserve the consequences of sin, but Christ has given us a second chance. St. John Climacus, an early church father, said, remember this, and you will no longer judge. Judas was an apostle, and the thief wa at Christ's right hand was a murderer. A simple reminder of when we judge, God has the ultimate judgment, and what we see might not be pure. What we see might not be accurate. We need to remember this when we gossip, when we talk about others, when we judge. We need to be different from this world. We are called to be like Christ, which means to be perfect, forgiving, and loving. I want to end off with a final quote from an Eastern Orthodox Church father by the name of Elder Th Thaddeus of, uh, bear with me, Vitovnika. He says, we are the sons of light and love, the sons of God, his children. As such, we must have his qualities and his attributes of love, peace, and kindness towards all. Let's strive for these qualities and show the world who Christ is, not by our words, but by our actions. May the blessings of the apostles be with us, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Pray to the Lord on our behalf, O oh, grain 
saints of our Joseph, the righteous, that he may forgive us our sins. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, from our lords and fathers, the apostles, and the rest of the disciples, that he may forgive us our sins. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pontificator, Creator of heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, God and the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, God not created of one essence, the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary became man. He was crucified for us in the Pontius Pilate, suffering was buried, third day rose from the dead according to the scriptures, sent into the heavens, seats at the right hand of his Father, and he's coming in his glory to judge living and dead, those whom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and one holy Catholic of the Church, we confess our baptism of remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Ah, ah, amen. Stand up for prayer. Oh God, the great and eternal, who formed man in corruption, and that which entered into the world through the envy of the devil you have destroyed by the life-giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, you have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the host of the angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill towards man. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greetings. Lord, amen. <laughs> According to your good will, O oh God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, call hypocrisy and craftiness, remembrance of evil, entailing death. Make us all worthy, our Master, to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without falling into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gifts. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yeah, Lord, who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy on us. All proper in order, send with trembling look towards these, let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ. With your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have risen and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of
Meet and right, meet and right, rule in this is meet and right. We will the being master, Lord God, is true being for before the Asia reigning forever. Who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein. The Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things. He is the invisible who sits upon the throne of his glory and who is worshipped by all the holy power. Uh, you who are seated, stand. Before whom stand the angel, the archangel, the principality, the authority, the throne, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are he. Around whom stand the cherubim, full of eyes, and the sea of him with fixed wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, 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 <coughs> Lord of, of hosts, Created us and placed us in the paradise of joy when we disobeyed your commandment by the deception of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have aben not abandoned us to the end, but have always raised us through your holy prophets. And the last days, you manifested yourself to us who are sitting in darkness and the shadow of death. Through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy. Virgin Mary. Amen. Who incarnated and became man and taught us the way of salvation. He granted us the birth on high throughout our spirit. He made us unto himself a congregation, sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own war in the world and give himself for our salvation unto death, which reigned over us, whereby you are bound and sold on account through our sins. He descended into Hades through the uh, cross. Amen, I believe. He rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into the heavens and sat at your right hand, O Father, as appointed a day for recompense, in which you would appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. instituted for us <coughs> this great mystery of Godness for being determined to give himself up to death for the life of the world we believe he took bread into his holy hands which are without spot or blemish blessed and life giving we believe that this is true amen we looked up toward heaven to you god for his father and master of everyone and when he had given thanks amen he blessed it amen and he 
Disciples and saintly apostles saying, Take eat of it, all of you, for this is my body, which shall be broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is true. <coughs> Amen. Likewise, also the cup after supper, he mixed it in wine and water, and when he had given thanks, Amen. he blessed it. Amen. And he sanctified it. Amen. <laughs> Again, we believe. To his unholy disciples and saintly apostles, saying, Take drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance oh, oh, of me. This is also true. Amen. Every time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim my death, confess my resurrection, and remember me. Till I come. Amen, amen, amen. Your death, O Lord, we proclaim. Your holy resurrection and ascension we So commemorate his holy passion and his resurrection from the dead, his ascension to the heavens. He is sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens, O Son and full of glory. We offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for every condition concerning every condition, every condition. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you. Serve you, we worship you. Proscome Amen. This bread he makes into his holy body. I believe. cup also the precious blood 
of his new covenant. Again I believe. Amen. The remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Master, to partake of your holy land, to the purification of our souls, our bodies, and our spirit, that we may become one body, our spirit, and may have a shared inheritance with all the saints. So please, you in the beginning, remember all the peace of your only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. To yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the orthodox bishops who are in her. We must remember, O Lord, the bliss and honor, Father, the patriarch, our, te- our patriarch, Papa, our Father, the second is father in the apostolic liturgy, our bishop of Amina. Pray for our archpriest, Pope of Athos, the second, Pope and patriarch, and archbishop of the great city of Alexandria, and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our father, the bishop of Amina, and our, uh, for our orthodox bishop. Lord, have mercy. Who rightly handle the word of truth and then grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock and peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Egomenes, priests, and deacons. Pray for the Egomenes, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the Church of God. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants, all who are in virginity, and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every mercy of our Orthodox Father. Pray for the salvation of the word of the all cities and the of all hours and law cities, districts, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell within.
your people the singleness of heart give tranquility to the whole world good temper to the earth graciously accord the lord the earth of heaven the fruits of the earth the water of the river the seed the herbs and the plants of the field this year bless them pray for the air of the heaven the fruits of the earth the rising of the waters of the <coughs> rivers the seeds the herbs and the plants of the field this year that christ our god may bless them have compassion on his creation which his hands have made and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Pray them to their measure according to your grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May it, its forest be abundant, your water and fruits be plentiful, prepared for sowing and harvesting. Manage our life as a deem flip, let the crown of the year with your goodness. <coughs> for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of us all, entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring the Lord have mercy. And this will only the command of your only begotten Son that we share in the commemoration of your sins graciously upon the Lord to remember all the sins of Lee's use in the beginning. Our Holy Father, the Patriarch, the Prophet, the Apostle, the Preacher, the Evangelist, the Martyr, the Confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith, most of all the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy the Autocode, the pure Saint Mary, who in truth gave birth to God, the Logos, and Saint John the Foreigner, Baptist, and Martyr, Saint Stephen the Archdeacon, the Proto Martyr, the Builder of God, among the Evangelist, the Apostle, and Martyr. The Patriarchs and Severus, our teacher, the Discourse, and Athanas, the Apostle, the High Priest, and Peter, the Priest, Martyr, St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Seal, St. Basil, St. Gregory, the Theologian, St. Gregory, the Wonderworker, St. Gregory, the Armenian, the 318 at Simulat, Nicaea, 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, Righteous Father, the Great of Anton, and Righteous of Paul, the Three Saints of Akrain, all their children, the Cross Bearers, our Father, which the Egumen, our Righteous Father of Apishoi, the Perfect Man, the Beloved, of our good Savior, our Father, who are full of Tamun, Ezekiel, his disciple. My Lord, the Roman Father, Saint Maximus, and Domelius, the 49 martyrs, the elders of Shehid, the strong saint of Amun. John Kramer, the Presbyterian, our father of Daniel, the Egumen, our father of uh, Ididor, the Presbyterian, our father of Apollo, the Kirin, Theodore, his disciple, father of Ishmael, the Alcarmine, and Rita, and Avo, his disciple, 
our father of Abraham, the bishop of the human Gid, brother of the claim and the Ethiopian priest, our father of Samuel, the confessor and son of all his disciples, our holy father, Papa Abba Kirillus the Fifth, and the Archdeacon Habib Gerges, all the choir of your saints, through his prayers and supplications, have mercy on us and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessings be with us. Amen. Glory to you, Lord. O Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Lord, repose them. Amen. Those of the Lord, everyone whose name we have mentioned, and those we have not mentioned, those whom each one of us has in mind, and those who are not in our mind, who have fallen asleep and repose in the face of Christ. Remember, O Lord, the soul of your servants, the dear William, Shukri Nagid, Rudolf Zeki, Nassim Girgis, Samira Bersum, Mary Tadros, Sami Nassim, so on those, O Lord, whose souls you have taken, repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem in that place. And we too are sojourning in this place. Keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Again, let us go deep into prayer to the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. For he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. He also has come to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries.
before the ages the great high priest who was incarnate and became man for the salvation of mankind and of all the nations. He called to himself a chosen race, a kingdom, a priesthood, a holy nation, and a justifier. in the Holy Spirit upon the apostles on the day of Pentecost. He came upon each one of them like divided tongues of fire and filled them with all knowledge, all understanding, and all spiritual wisdom according to your faithful promise. And they spoke in every language and they proclaimed your holy name to The shadow of the one was healing the sick, whereas the car chiefs and apron of the other were ca causing diseases to leave an evil spirit to come out. And after they pro preached the gospel of the kingdom unto the nations, they shed their blood for your name's sake and received the crown of apostleship and the at of martyr no disciples and honored apostle that they sent of the spirit the paraclete upon them and gave them authority to work healing signs and wonders they proclaimed to us glad tidings of his holy name and restored us to the true faith of the holy trinity we praise you we bless you we glorify you and we give thanks to you on account of these great things. And we ask you, our Master, to also grant us the forgiveness of our sins and to purify our hearts, our souls, bodies, and spirits, so that with a pure heart we may dare with boldness, without fear, to cry out to your Holy Father, who is in the heavens, and say, hey, Our Father, uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us from evil one, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine kingdom and power and the glory forever. In Christ Jesus our Lord.
Save the men with your spear in the fear of God, let us attend. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The holy is for, the, for those who are holy, blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of God, the sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son. <coughs> the holy body and precious and true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. Amen. The holy, precious body and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. 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 Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe, and confess to the last of the life giving flesh that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from our Lady, the Lady who was all the Holy Theotokos, Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity, without mingling, without confusion, and without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it us, he gave it us for us of his own will. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly, I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment, nor a twinkling of an eye given for us for salvation, remission of sins, and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is so in truth, Amen. Amen, Amen, Amen. I believe, I believe. Uh, I believe that this is so in truth, Amen. Pray for us and for all Christians who said to us concerning them, remember us in the house of the Lord. The peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy communion of the Immaculate, Heavenly, and Holy Mystery. Is Lord have mercy.
glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and good will towards men. Amen. Alleluia. Dox sabatrike. Heyoke. Agiom neumatike. Ninke ai. Ke sto seon astoni. Amen. Teno she volengo emmojeo benchoi. Isos vejeresos es monimo em fiar o mare pegnai tektirini o en softem be sotiem mono nainan kiri eleison kiri em logison emin es moero es moero es imetania koni ebogo em bi es mo Sayyidayil Abu'ayn al